Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a cruelty-free YouTuber that does a lot of makeup content. And today I am like <laughs> going to do like a throwback. A throwback, throwback, throwback. When I started on YouTube a, a long while ago and I did this pretty often, I did favorite videos every month. And then I went over to like do favorite videos or talk about my favorites in Get Ready With Me. And now I haven't talked about favorites since December. And I was like, okay, let's do this again. Let's do go way back <laughs> to favorite video where I'm going to talk about skincare, hair care, makeup, shoes, a perfume. Just like go back to what I did when I started my YouTube channel and it feels like people doesn't do these that often anymore it's more like my makeup favorites okay, maybe 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 because I mostly watch makeup channels but yeah I am going to do an all over current favorites so this is a little bit of everything and I think we can start with the shoes I want to talk about. I posted on my Instagram like my, like just a short little Insta story where I show like where I have my shoes. And I really, really love shoes. And I did declutter a lot of shoes. Now I have around 30 shoes left. And I, I think I decluttered more than that. And... I like chunky shoes. I like black shoes mostly. I am on the shorter side and I have pretty small feet so I want chunky shoes so my feet doesn't look that small. I don't care that I am a little bit shorter but like I want chunky boots and chunky shoes so my feet looks a little bit bigger because sometimes it feels like I have baby feet. Okay, so I have shopped a lot of new shoes, the latest, but a super favorite that I have, and I also remember the Dianite Kid, I have bought a buffaloes. I bought more than one pair of buffaloes. Um, these are buffalo boots, and these are vegan. I love that Buffalo is coming out with vegan shoes and these have a lot of cat hair on the shoelaces. I don't know if you can see it, but these are my, I love these shoes. Um, yeah, these are black Buffalo boots. I just, I just love them and they are not too chunky, but a little bit chunky and it's just a Buffalo back there and a Buffalo there. I love them. I have one other pair of buffaloes and um, I just love them and these are my favorite shoes right now. So okay let's go into the hair thing. I think I'm so like after everybody. I have in the winter I have a kind of frizzy hair and sometimes in the summer as well it's just like a big frizz. Now it's not that frizzy because I have used this and it is a, from Maria, Maria Nila. It's a Swedish brand. It's a vegan brand and this is the True Soft Argan Oil. So this is a hair oil, softening hair oil. And I have tried hair oils before but I felt like it made my hair just, it was like heavy on my hair. But this one, it's really, really good. I have used it I think five times and it doesn't even show, I just need like one drop and it is so good and it doesn't make my hair fatty, like oily faster than it usually is. So I've been loving this and now I understand why people have talked about hair oils while, while I have been, no. But this one so so good and it doesn't smell that much either i think it just is so good i really really love it then i can talk about the perfume and this i've had for i think a year a little over a year 
maybe a year and a half or a year. And it's from the body shop. It's the White Musk Flora. I got this in an advent calendar, so one and a half year I think I had. And for me, I have used quite a lot. I don't use perfumes that often, mostly once a week at Casual Friday that we have at work. And I usually use this and I just love the scent. I usually don't like flowery scents. I like more masculine and a little bit more darker scents, a little bit more deeper. But I think it's because it's white musk. So it's a little bit deeper, but it still has some flower to it. Ah, I love this so much. I, I think it's, it's not too much of anything. And I'm using this like every Friday. I love it so much, so, so much. And what I, I want to be a person that uses perfume every day, but I don't know. I don't that nobody would say anything at work. We don't have like this, you can't wear because people are allergic or stuff like that. It's just that I I have work clothes on and then to use a perfume it feels like it's clashing a little bit, but this one it's just I love the scent so much. I don't know what more to say. So, should we take the skincare thing? <laughs> this, I only have a tester on this. I bought from Look Fantastic in, I think it was in October maybe? Last October? This October? I don't know, but I bought like a Ren box they had and I got this overnight recovery balm and I was like, I'm never going to slap that on my face because it's like thick. It's super thick. I want to show you, but at the same time, I don't want to get less of the product. But I don't know if you can see, it's really, really thick. And I was like, I can't have that on my face. It's going to be like a thick layer. But... Christ, this is good. I don't use it that often, maybe once a week or once every other week. I usually use it when I have shaved my face. Yes, I'm I'm a shaver. And it is so good. Or when I'm feeling extra dry, I use it. And I have been liking this so much. It really feels that it gives my skin so much moisture and also it doesn't feel too heavy on my skin. I'm actually thinking of buying a big size of this when this runs out because I think it's so good and now when it has been a little bit drier outside, it works amazing. Amazing. And this has... I still have product left in this and you need so little product and you just massage it into the skin and it becomes like an oil. It's amazing. So if you have dry skin and skin that are maybe stressed, what should you say? But it's like calms the skin down and it's, it is amazing. It's from their sensitive line. I think the green line is like the sensitive line. I love this. So good. Okay. Now we have the makeup things left, and I have five base things and two eyeshadows, eyeshadow palettes. So we can maybe start with the base things. First off, I have two foundations I want to talk about. I have talked about one of them in my yearly favorites for last year. I must have done that. And I still love this. I have this on today. It's the Bear With Me from NYX. It's their tinted skin wheel. Did I spit? Yes, I think I did. I don't have that much left in this one. Um, it's a lot of air, I think. And I, I've really been loving this. It has a really light coverage. You can build it up a little bit, but it's pretty light. And I, I think this is so, so good. I have in pale light and it works because it has light coverage. I think this is just, an amazing 
I use it as foundation and I think it's amazing with that and it still looks good if you just want this on it doesn't look too much I think it covers a little bit more than other tinted like skin wheels that I'm used to but it's so so good I think I actually will repurchase this one it holds up really good and when it disappears it still looks really good so this I've been loving the other one I haven't used as much as that one I think I have used this five or six times and it's the skin realist from Nabla if you have seen my first impression wear test I can leave it up here I am not 100% in love with it when it comes to putting it on with a sponge because then I think it's it's too dark it's like need the warmth from my hands and also it takes a bit of time for it to sink into my skin and like more adapt to me it isn't that many colors of this I think it's maybe seven of them and it's because one of the shades can like covers more do you understand what I mean it's not like needing four shades because this this is shade one this is fair this will cover maybe four or five different skin tones and for me it works if I put on like a light layer with my hands and really work it in then it looks really really good and it's not sticky and it just looks so so good but when I use it with a sponge it feels like it's not going into my skin that much and I have a little bit of problems should I just make that two word problems problems and troubles problems and I really like it if I use it with my hands but this is good and next up I want to talk about the concealer I've talked about this before and this is the Glossier stretch concealer it is in a little pot I use this almost each and every day to work and I do my skincare routine and then I take this on and I look a little bit more awake I don't like to use this together with mascara because this this solves all the mascaras that I've tried with it but for a daily basis and just to look a little bit more awake it works wonders and it fades during the day but it fades good and not everything disappears but this works really good with just putting my putting it on with my finger it doesn't crease it doesn't like lay in any lines that is the same as creasing it looks really good and I love this and I recommend this to anybody that wants something as me like for work just to have something light to put on when you're going out they it it is amazing I think I actually will buy this again when I'm running out of this because it's just so good I have actually another foundation I have six base things and not foundation and concealer I also talked about this in my yearly favorites and it's still I'm taking out the stopper on this one so it's soon empty and it's the fresh nude serum concealer from body shop I love this concealer I will buy this again this is amazing it's lightweight but it covers the things I need to cover and it sits really really good it doesn't fuck with my mascara at all it doesn't crease and it just feels so good to have on and as I said I have taken out the stopper because it was like almost empty or I didn't get anything up so I took out the stopper and now it's a kind of messy but that is what you get but yeah I love this one I'm going to buy it again and again and again and again so the last two base things one it's an old favorite that I've talked about a lot and the other one is new and it's from Nabla it's from their skin glazing okay no 
It's from the same line, but it's a highlighter and a bronzer. Yeah, I'm talking about the bronzer. So the highlight is of course Ozone. I love this highlight. This is my all-time... I think this is my all-time favorite highlighter now. It's just something about Nobles highlighters that makes my heart... sing. <laughs> This is so so good. I have used it a lot, but it's a lot of product in it. Thanks God. I have it on today. I have had it on for my latest videos. I have such a hard time to like put this down. I think it works with everything. It works with a light base. It works with a more heavy base. It works with everything. And the other one is Nabla's Skin Bronzing in Ambra. And I use this light contour. And it looks like this. This is the lightest one and I have it on today. I don't know if it's showing that much but I think it does something. So I use it as a contour with a fluffy brush and I think I just look a little bit more alive but not with like uh, super marked cheekbones. It is amazing. I know it is a bronzer and I use it as a contour. Sue me. I love this one. So these are my two new babies. I have a hard time to putting both of these down and that's just how it is. So the two eyeshadow palettes I want to talk about. I have had... Okay, I can promise you this hopefully will be the last time I talk about this. I have been kind of down. I'm still kind of down. I'm not completely myself but I'm I'm getting there and it has been hard for me to play with makeup and these two palettes especially one of them has really like helped me and has inspired me I think it has been like a combination of me on a no buy and not feeling that well because I can I used makeup shopping. If I was sad, I shopped makeup. I think a lot of us do, just to have something like waiting for something fun to come. And when like it was just shit on shit on shit in my life, I didn't have makeup to shop because I was on a no buy. But I got one of these palettes in, in PR and it made me a little bit excited again. And it is the Club Nebula palette from Kaleidos. I have used this quite a lot for being me. It looks like this. I think this is such a fun palette. And it's so easy to use. It's like three finished looks just for looking at it. One look for each row. And that has helped me a lot. I don't want to nag on about this palette because I've talked about this a lot of times. But... This has really been a favorite for me. And when I used this, I combined it with the escape pod. I think it was in Get Ready With Me. And then I was like, I should use this more. And then I did another Get Ready With Me use this. And it, lay, it like find a place in my heart. This has been one of the Kaleidos palettes that I haven't loved th th that much. Not because of the shadows are bad, it's just because I think it's a little bit rambled and I don't know what to do with it. But the most of the shades in this is amazing. Like the purple shades is the one that I've used most in this. They are really, really good. And I think it was this one I used together with the Club Nebula. That look was amazing. Or it could have been this, but I think it was this one. And I just want to play with this more. It's like I found it now. I know that a lot of people really liked it when it came out. And I was like, mm, it's good, but it's not something that I'm like, I need to use it. But now it feels like I need to use it. And I'm so happy for that. So I think you will see more with this one. And yeah, that was all for this classic favorites video. I don't going, I'm not, I'm don't. 
I'm not going to do this on a monthly basis, but I just wanted to talk about some favorites I have. And I don't think that I will do favorite videos because some weeks I don't use makeup at all and it's hard and to like find favorites when you don't use makeup. So I just wanted to chat a little bit. I'm starting to come back into like filming videos but I don't know what to film. So I was like okay I go back to the super roots. Uh, one thing that I've done since I started my channel a long time ago. So yeah, I really hope you like this video and is there any special favorites that you have now? It can be anything. It can be food, it can be clothing, it can be shoes, it can be whatever. Please tell me down in the comments. And I also want to... I think I've talked about this in Get Ready With Me. I can't remember. I want to try to incorporate like more than makeup to my channel. Not that often, but maybe a little bit of fashion and a little bit of shoes. But I don't know how to do it and I don't know if I feel comfortable enough to do it. I don't know. But yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!